So, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to my week one update on my 30 day fat loss transformation video series. I want to say thanks for being here, I want to say welcome back and uh, I want to say I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're still in uh, you know, nationwide lockdown here in New Zealand for another three weeks. This video series is focused on diet because at the end of the day abs are made in the kitchen and, and I'm hoping at the end of this four weeks that I will have my abs back. So basically guys for the last week I've just been focusing on keeping my calories as low as I can. Uh, not too low, you know, not too drastic. That was a mistake I made in the first two days. I went really, really drastically low. I lost all my energy. I lost all of my fullness. I felt like shit. So then I rebounded. The next day I, I went well above my calories and I was like, fucking hell, three days in, I'm already yo-yoing. So, you know, at the end of the day, using an app like MyFitnessPal is important for those reasons. After three days, I might have felt, you know, a little bit lethargic. I might have felt flat you know, weak, all that shit, but I wouldn't necessarily have known exactly why, but because I did track absolutely everything I ate and drank, we know why. We can look back, we can look at the results, the data, and I love data. You know, that's, that's the kind of person I am. So with that being said, we have tracked uh, two variables throughout the week. That is calories in and calories out. Calories in, we've, we've tracked through literally tracking every single you know, piece of food or, or drink that goes into your mouth through MyFitnessPal. Uh, what that does is it gives you a breakdown of how many calories you've had, also the macronutrients within those calories, so protein, carbs and fats. But that's no use unless you know how many calories you're burning as well. So I've used my uh, Fitbit to track my calories burnt and basically at the end of each day you can have, you know, a, a bit of a graph to understand what your body has has done that day. So here we are at the, f the end of the first week. I've got a full week's worth of um, nutrition information. I've got a full week's worth of exp calorie expenditure information. And here we are. So I haven't gone on the scales. I haven't actually um, you know weighed myself on a bathroom scales or on a gym scales. I don't have access to one and I don't care. We're not focusing on that. We're focusing on the pictures. The pictures a picture tells a thousand words and that's exactly what happens here. So uh, what I've done earlier this morning, I have taken my second set of progress pictures. So I will be showing you guys all of those at the end of this video. Uh, we've probably got, yeah, once again, 12 different, I guess, bodybuilding style poses that I can do the same pose in the same lighting. Although this wasn't exactly the same lighting, I was pretty pissed off about that. But you do the same pose, the same place, put them you know, up against each other. And even after just a week, there's certain little changes that I can already see. But what I will say is that, you know, after a week, I wasn't even planning on doing this video. I thought, nah, you know what? A week is, is too short of a time frame. I want to do it after two weeks. But at the end of the day, this is only a month long transformation. And so I want to document it as, as in depth as possible. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm just going to run through a few numbers with you before I show you the pictures and before we shut it down for another week. Um, all right. So first, firstly we'll look at diet. On Sunday, I stopped tracking after about, I don't know, two meals. So the Sunday's data is out by a little bit. Um, that's also gonna throw off the average, but I will run through my numbers for the week. Monday, 1,741 calories. Tuesday, 1,707 calories. Wednesday, 2,763 calories. Thursday, 2,770 calories. Friday, back down again, 1,656 calories. Saturday, up again, 2,789 calories. And Sunday, it stopped early, like I said, but we stopped at 896 calories. So overall for that first week, we had an average of 2,046 calories, but that's not including that last part of Sunday. So I would say, on average, probably about 2,300. 2300 calories and I'm pretty confident that that will put me in a nice deficit nothing too crazy but yeah I'm, I'm basically throughout this next week I'm going to continue with on average around about 2300 calories I'm going from 2000 to 2500 per day obviously that doesn't include any exercise so so as well as tracking on my fitness pal we tracked um, on my Fitbit so basically uh, as far as ex calorie expenditure goes we've got 55,445 steps for the entire week, which is an average of 7,921. My highest day as far as step count goes was on Saturday. 
I had a total of 11,848 steps. My smallest day, as far as step count goes, was Friday, the day before, uh, when I had 2,507 steps. So the reason why uh, <laughs> the reason why I went from 2,000 up to 11 is because I saw that I'd only done 2,000 steps on the Friday. I thought, fuck, that's not enough. So I woke up on Saturday. First thing I wanted to do was put on my running shoes and go out and do a run. And that's what I did. I ran 10Ks. Uh, it took me just over an hour, but it was great. Felt good. So, so there we go. That was calories in. That was steps. Um, and as far as calories burnt on each particular day, let me have a look here. For example, on the 13th, I had... So, actually, I'm not sure why. Actually, no, I've got no internet. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be able to tell you, but basically, I'll give you the details for the first two days, at least, the Monday and Tuesday. On the Monday, you saw that I consumed 1,700 calories, and I uh, expended 2,900. So that was a difference of 1,200 calories on that first day, and it was a fantastic day of dieting overall. The second day, the, mon uh, the Tuesday, was even better. I expended 3,212 calories and I only took in 1,700 once again. So that gives you a bit of a picture as to why on that third day I was feeling so run down and so lethargic is because you know the, the, the gap between calories in versus calories out was just too drastic. So moving forward you know I do want to I, I do want to make a drastic transformation but the thing is you can't even through through a four week period you can't you can't start too hard and too fast. The first week is about getting your body used to either burning body fat or putting on muscle. The second week, I'm really gonna knuckle down. And the third and fourth week, the results are really gonna start to show. You know, obviously that depends on how strict I can be on myself, but I'm feeling good so far, and that's all we can hope for. So with that being said, that was a, a bit of a run through on what's been happening. Um, Moving forward into this next week, nothing changes. We're just going to continue. And uh, if I do do any training here in the backyard, I will videotape it and I'll bring those workouts to my channel as I have been previously. I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. I've been, I've been working till the morning, yeah. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.